Well, new talks today about overhauling Nebraska's good time law, making prisoners earn their early release. But is a potential bill dead even before the official debate can begin? Gay TV News Watch Evans Nicole Goodrich has reaction from Lincoln in this new story at six. The door may already be closing on the option of replacing Nebraska's good time law with an earned time law this session. Even the bill's author admits it needs a little work. This bill may not be ready for prime time, but I believe earned time is an important component as the committee moves forward. LB 425 would replace Nebraska's good time law, which automatically cuts a prisoner's sentence in half with a system that would require prisoners to earn it by not only behaving, but attending treatment and programming. The problem? Much of that programming doesn't currently exist. Which means they cannot get good time. That's illogical. It's irrational. It is insane. Especially when it could potentially add more prisoners to an already overcrowded system. Switching to earn time could cost nearly $10 million over the next two years. We are looking at something down the road. It's Even supporters of the bill, like Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter, says the state's uh, prison system may not be ready for the change just yet, but the bill highlights the importance of prison programming. An inmate who serves their sentence and is released cold into society without any program, without any supervised release, anything, that inmate has the least chance of success. As for programming and prison overcrowding, the Judiciary Committee is set to take up several prison reform bills on Friday. In Lincoln, Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7. Before that hearing, debate came to an abrupt end over a bill that would require you to show a government ID at the polls. Opponents waged a filibuster on the measure. Lawmakers voted 25 to 15 to hold it until the end of the session, effectively killing it this year. Omaha Senator Ernie Chambers called the measure racist in an effort to repress minority voters. Right there, he tore up a copy of his honorable discharge papers. And there'll be people on this floor who want to abridge my right to vote and try to make me jump through hoops. And I bet they don't have a piece of paper like that, but that's what they can do. And I see it as racism. The sponsor of the bill says he will bring it back next year. And the plan is dead to extend.